if anyone recognizes so I did have a plan for this but I've decided to use it today and I quite like it but behind here is my building site house but I quite like how it looks I'm also wearing the most beautiful robe I'll show you it's at some point in the vlog it's my second one this is the other one that I have it's a really great happy medium when you clearly want to be lazy around the house and you want to wear a robe but you don't want cozy vibes I always do my makeup in them because especially when I'm going out or getting ready for work because it makes my mind realize that I'm not gonna be sitting on the sofa with the fire on. Um, so, today I'm going to be doing a quick um, makeup look and we're going to be focusing on the skin. If you saw my beauty four step um, morning routine, skincare routine, it will go nicely with this. I will link it below for those of you that haven't seen it. It's literally a five minute, four step, everyday skincare and if you want the full effect of what I'm doing, it's important to prep your skin before. So I will link that below. Now, my tip, and I'm not a disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not a beauty guru or anything like that. I'm someone that's at the higher end of the YouTube spectrum age-wise, and I love beauty, and I love doing my own makeup, and I think it'd be quite helpful, especially if you've got older skin, or you are younger, but you have drier skin, you have eczema, or you're like me and you have all three. I'm going to show you products that really help with these issues and skin skin issues that, that you might have the same as me um, and also know that it doesn't irritate it doesn't irritate my skin so hopefully it's quite helpful now the two tips I want to give you is and this is just like something that I've observed let's ignore all the models and the symmetrical people of the world I always tend to feel like people and just you know talking to my friends you either feel confident this end of your face or this end of your face. I know that the bottom half of my face is not my strong point, so I always focus on my eyes because I prefer my eyes to my mouth. I would love to have one of those beautiful big smiles and like wide smiles, big natural <laughs> plumpy lips. I don't have that. So I recommend focusing on a feature. It could be your cheekbones, it could be your eyebrows, your eyes, your mouth. Focus on that so that when you meet someone, and you're talking to someone, that's what they're drawn to too. It's such a simple thing and an obvious thing, but just bear that in mind when you're next to your makeup. The second thing is your skin. If your skin is flawless, you will have so much confidence, male, female, you, it doesn't matter what age you are, we, will all, we all feel so much more confident with our skin. And you can see mine, this is me with no makeup. I have my eyebrows on and one coat of mascara, but the skin is completely nothing on. And for my age and how much, I'll put up a picture here of me literally 10 days ago, I'm working so hard on my skin and it also goes, not only skincare, but the makeup, because I can get flare ups from makeup. Um, so I do hope this is really helpful and I'm really passionate about sharing all the products that I'm using because you've just seen in the picture and if you follow me on Instagram, I suffer so badly with my eczema. I get flare ups like that with products, with food, with perfume. So if you can relate to that, hopefully this helps. So we're going to focus on the skin today because I feel like when my skin is flawless, I feel so much more confident and I can just have flawless skin, touch of mascara, touch of a lip balm and I'm good to go and I really love this look when it comes to makeup. So that's what we're going to focus on today and I've also found products that are really lightweight and last all day. So the first product that we're going to use is the Rodial the Rodeo Glass Primer. I just use a tiny bit on the back of my hand. I don't want to build it up too much. It smells so good, and this has menthol ingredients, which is a cooling, has a cooling effect on the skin, and I really recommend that with Rodeo, oh, it smells really good. I recommend that with all the Rodeo products, you look at the ingredients because 
when I say to you, this is, I, you'll never hear me say this product is amazing, I love it. I will tell you the ingredients, I will tell you what those ingredients, the effect of the, those ingredients and why I love it so that you really know what you're buying and if it's going to help you because all of our skin types are so different. So this skin primer just smooths out the skin and gives me a really nice base. And I'm actually going to put a tiny bit on my eyelids because I do have like a brown tone to my eyelids. I'm going to use the magic product in a second. So that's the primer. And as I said, it's very light and has the menthol ingredient and you can feel it's already cooling so any redness it will already illuminate and balance that out now i'm so excited to go straight in with this because this is one of my top three makeup products of all time i've used it for years and the amount of times i've run around space and k selfages trying to get one of these and they're never in stock they're in stock at the moment i hope they are if you're watching this video uh, but i do have an amazing discount code and like even without the discount code, I always used to buy this with no discount code. This one right here, I actually bought myself. Um, some of it is gifted. I do work with Rodial, but um, I always buy this whenever I get my, my hands on it. The reason why this is good, okay, so I'm going to tell you why the Rodial Banana Low Lighter is good. I love the peach one as well, and I'm going to do another video comparing the two so that you can see the difference and why I like both. So I'm just going to apply this under the eye. Normally, if I'm doing like a full face makeup, a top tip that I have for this is I do all my eyeshadow and then I put the low lighter on and I use the brush to shape and clean out like um, a nice eyeshadow shape, but I'm not using eyeshadow today and I'm just gonna pop a little bit on here. And I love to put some here just to draw in the cheeks. So now I'll go. So the ingredients, that, the reason why this low lighter is so amazing is because it has three amazing ingredients. The first is caffeine. Caffeine is a known ingredient to reduce puffiness. The second is hyaluronic acid, which keeps in the moisture. There is nothing worse than putting on a, um, a low lighter or under eye concealer and it instantly goes crispy. And when you're over 30, it's, it's vital that you have a hydrating low lighter. And when you find it, don't let it go. You can already see the difference, can't you? The third ingredient is the vitamin E, which is an antioxidant. So these are the killer ingredients. And the secret ingredient, which is why it's so amazing, is the formula. I don't know how Rodeo do, it, Rodeo do this, but it's the perfect formula and texture. It is so light, but at the same time, it offers so much coverage that lasts throughout the day. It blows my mind how sensational this is. And if I could have one makeup product, it would be this, because I don't want to look tired, I don't want to look old. It's very blendable, but I'm just taking my time so that I don't, I'm not rough with my skin. just to highlight the nose. And it really draws in the light, it really catches the light. So that's the highlighter. And you can really see the difference before and after. I could literally use it on my whole face. Another top tip for this is that you can put it on the Cupid's bow. Should we, should we do a little bit? Tiniest amount. And what that does is when I put my lipstick on later, it's going to plump my lips even more. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite products. Next, we're going to go in with the diamond concealer. And I'm just going to... I always got hormonal breakouts. You literally need the tiniest. I always get hormonal breakouts around here and you literally need the tiniest amount. Again, it's not drying, because when you have blemishes, they're very dry. Let's pop that around there. 
Next we are going to use, um, this is the skin tin, I'll put in the colour that I use. I love this because, again, I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. I love a skin tin because I do like in my older age and when I'm filming or going to a meeting, I still do want something on my skin, but I don't want to wear foundation every day. I've got the smallest amount on. So that's the base of my skin done. Next, I'm going to go in with the Blush Drops by Rodeo. This is Sunkiss and this is Frosted Pink. I love frosted pink when I'm going out or when it's like a really wintry day. I love that rosy cheek effect. But actually for the everyday use, because I am actually very fair, I love Sunkist because it does exactly that. Um, I recommend taking this traveling because it's so amazing when it hits the light and you need the smallest amount, the smallest amount. So I'm just going to put this on the back of my hand. Um, when I'm doing a full face, it's so nice to put it on the cheek like this and just do it in front of the window, in front of natural light and you can really see the areas of where you need to put it. But because I'm just doing an everyday look today, I need to find my cheekbones. See, you need the smallest amount. And we're doing all of our liquids first. And then we're going to set with the powder. Just make sure you do all of your liquids first. I'm just gonna put some on the lips. And this formula is very light and it's a buildable texture. So you can leave it like that just for a very, very, I just look very dewy and healthy, I think. And then you can build it up more and more so that's how I recommend applying it, just build it more and more. I'm only going to use a slight bit today. Um, I find with liquid, liquid makeup drops and cheek tins, I find that it's actually better for older skin because powder can be quite dry because I have very, very dry skin. I find that liquid products are really good. However, it's so hard to find a good liquid product because I find that with liquid products, they can really block the pores and I would always tend to have breakouts. So I have actually avoided liquid cheek tints and any product like this because I would rather have dry skin than a breakout. So I was a bit dubious of trying this, but because I use so much of the Rodeo products, I thought, no, I'm going to give it a go. Um, and I love that dewy look and I'm pleased to say that this is absolutely one of my go-to. And when I used to work at Harrods, I'd always do my makeup on the train. And I wish I had all the makeup that I have now, like just five products or something. I could literally have the low lighter, this, mascara and eyebrows, and I would have the perfect everyday makeup look. I don't know what Paris is doing upstairs. So that's that. We are now going to go in with another one of my absolute fave products. That's the Banana Instagram Compact Deluxe Banana Powder. So I'm a huge fan of the banana products. Actually, I'm gonna do this super close so you can just see. Literally like an Instagram filter. I recommend leaving this on so it can really, really set. Leave it on for around 10 minutes. Can you see how much it's brightening up? under the eye and I, I do love to set my makeup. I just feel like it really does last so much longer. Just look, the banana powder with the drops. Look at the effect that I've got. Look at that. And everything just feels very lightweight, which I cannot stress enough. I can literally do my makeup and already at this stage, the redness is coming out and I'll have to take it all off and have no makeup for a week. Now I'm taking my time doing this because I really want to like do it slowly and show you. I'm just gonna 
put a bit more of the banana powder on my eyelids and then set it with this. I'm gonna leave that for 10 minutes and then we're just going to finish off, but can you see the difference already? So this is after the powder is set, just wipe off the excess powder and then we're going to go in with the Rodial glass powder. This is always sold out, so if you're following me on Instagram and I tell you that this is back in stock, please do buy it and trust me. I don't have a problem of big pores, thank the Lord. Um, but I recommend this if you have large pores. I, however, suffer with redness and blemishes and that is why I use it. This is just absolutely seamless. So it's loose powder, so just tap at the end. And I have a lot of redness today here and here. So can you see the difference? I feel like it just because I have quite a deep line here and I feel like it softens that line and I have so many blemishes and kind of bumps here and something I'm really conscious of I have very it's kind of like dry in the corner of the mouth and I feel like this is one of the only products that work because it it just takes away that redness final product now we're going to go in with the Rodeo Blusher, this is the Instagram Compact Deluxe Bronzing Powder and I've been using this for absolute years. Mum's gone, hello? Why? Where? Oh yes, yes. So that is it, that is the final look. I'm just gonna pop on my blusher, my bronzer. I've been using this for years. This is the Rodeo Instagram Compact Deluxe Bronzing Powder 2. I discovered this when I went to Dallas about five, six years ago. And the reason why I love this is it's an amazing texture, but also it's like, it's kind of got like a pinky tone to a bronzer, which is really unusual. And I only need the smallest amount because we have the dew drops. but it's just gonna help that sit. Don't forget I have the discount code and it's for a limited time only. And Rodeo are such reasonable products and I price point and I love that they do skincare and makeup so the formulas work together. And once you find a makeup brand and a skincare brand that really works for your skin, I recommend just, just sticking to that. You have to know what formulas work. So if you have sensitive skin, dry skin, older skin, you need a lot of brightening. I've got such a pound neck. And that's the final look. So this is how I do just my everyday skin. And to be honest, I would wear, have this in the evening, but you can just see the difference in the brightening under the eyes. Nothing is crispy and I have severely dry skin. I have eczema all over my face. I have a lot of troubled areas around the mouth and the eyes. And that's the final look. And I think it's really important to focus on the skin because nice flawless skin with a dewy, rosy look, healthy look, it's, it will help you, it will stop you from looking aging and tired. Rodeo will have all the ingredients that really do target all the things that we need, the puffiness, the dryness, give us that dewy look, um, the vipsy, the caffeine, the hyaluronic acid. It's just jam packed with the most amazing ingredients. So I'm really happy to show you just like a glowy, natural skin. A closer look. So that's the end of the makeup video. I'm now going to get changed. I'll quickly show you this robe. I'm now going to get changed and I've also bought something from Celine I'm going to show you. Before I go, don't forget that there is a link in the description box to each product that I use and the discount code. It is not um, valid for long, so make sure you take advantage of that and then let's go see what I bought at Celine. Hi everyone, so we're now upstairs. You can see this a little bit more, but I'll do a cutaway now showing you this. Um, can't remember if I've already said that, I'll put up my other one here. But I discovered this brand on Let a Porte. I made the mistake of going in the garden and now I have allergies. Um, yeah, I discovered it on Let a Porte and it was just something that really caught my eye and I thought, yes, this is the perfect little home outfit for me. 
um, when I don't want, what I was saying to you earlier, when I don't want to feel lazy, but I do love being in a robe. It's, it's like a beautiful kimono style. And what I tend to use them for is when I'm getting ready to go out. It just makes me feel like I'm in the mood, um, like getting in that mood to going out. But they're just really beautiful to have at home. They're pure silk. I've never seen anything like it. So I do love a stay at home robe. It's one of my favorite things. So yeah, that's this one. Um, and I've decided that we're going to be doing a Nest Porte haul. So I am gonna show you the Christmas bits. We'll finish off the video with the Christmas bits. Um, cannot find the Celine bag anywhere. It's only something small, so don't, don't worry about that. But I'm tidying up my room and it will be in the next vlog. So if you'd like to know what I'm buying at Celine, what I bought at Celine, just hold out for the next vlog. I have a lot more exciting things to show you. So some of the things here, I'm a proud partner of Net Porte. Some of it is gifted, but I'd say half the amount is something I bought. I just genuinely want to show you some bits that I have. Now this, I feel like we need to talk about this a lot. This is the very trendy, famous Kate Cashmere cardigan. Now I have already spoken about this before, um, and this is key to me sharing the story. This is the one I already have. This is like the light brown one. And when I was getting this, this I got from a collaboration. Um, and just to quickly touch on that, it's not free. Obviously, if it was free, you would just ask brands to give you something. Of course, they get something back. And for me, when I do get gift vouchers to work with a brand, just being transparent, that's how it works on some campaigns. It's still like I'm working for it and I don't take it lightly that I'm being gifted gifted these vouchers and I, I still treat it as money that I don't want to waste. So I am very particular still with what I pick. So even though it was a gift voucher, I'm still working for it. And I still felt even with a voucher, these were too expensive. They are extortionate. They are so, so expensive. And when you look at it, it's just a cashmere cardigan. But like so many of you, so many of you asked me to find a dupe and they're just not any dupes. I will link a couple of cardigans that I found, but to have this fabric, I mean, a card, knitted cardigan you can find anywhere, but you still want the similar shape, which is impossible because it has super, super wide extra long sleeve, which no one else has. It's cinched in at the waist. And that is what makes it amazing. Um, also, the thickness of the cashmere. It is uh, the thickest cashmere I have come across. And just to touch on cashmere, I'm very passionate about knitwear. You, you know this. If you've been following my vlog for a while, you know I love knitwear. And knitwear, you have to consider a lot of things. Now, I'm not putting down high street knitwear. I love John Lewis knitwear. I love Marks and Spencer's cashmere. I even have Zara cashmere. I love it. Fig leaves, I love it. However, this is the low end. This is low end cashmere. It's not um, like what I call evil cashmere and knitwear. So you do have to be careful. Shearling and cashmere, it doesn't kill the animal. I was trying to find like a nice way to say that, but let's just be facts. It doesn't hurt the animal like um, exotic skins which and fur, which I do not wear. I never have and never will. Um, shearling and things like this, it doesn't hurt the animal. However, you can, and I've done a lot of research this in depth with my brand, you can have cashmere where they get to a certain point and they take all of the, the shearling off the it could be the lamb the sheep and they're so cold that they this is like really in depth i just want you to know what happens behind when you buy cashmere the different levels and why this is expensive and why things aren't so skip if you don't want to know the in-depth behind cashmere and pricing but there are certain cashmeres where they they literally leave the poor animal with nothing to protect them from the weather and they do actually die. And this can normally, not not with all, like I say, I have like 90 pound cashmere jumpers. Just, just look into your cashmere a little bit. And I really wish that brands, it was a legal requirement to put cashmere like grades. Um, and this for sure would be the highest grade when it's coming from New Zealand, Australia, um, like cotton from Portugal. These are like the high end quality you know it's sustainable it's not been harmful you know that you're getting the highest quality the way that it's spun you like okay i'm getting into too much detail now but that's what you're paying for i will be the first one to admit you are also paying for the name with this 
And I knew that, I knew that it was good quality, uh, not as good as what it was when it arrived, um, but it just, it has something. So when you're asking me for a dupe, I will link a couple, but they don't come close. They're just nice cashmere mixed cardigans. They're not, they're not, they're, they're not dupes. I'm, there, are, there are no dupes for this. So I took the plunge with this and I love it. And I wear it so, so much. And when the other colors out, the cream, the gray and the black, I wanted another one. And then I couldn't decide which colour because I wanted them all. And then I thought, no, it's still too much money. And I didn't, I had it in my basket and I didn't get it. And then I kept thinking, should I get this instead? Should I get this, like this, this, this? And it took me about two months and I thought, no, I know for a fact this is the most boring minimal. And I'm not like a minimal blogger. Love it, but it's, I just think it's not. Like, I love the minimal vibe, but I just wish people would just add their own little touch. I get so bored of the minimal blogger that is wearing the same minimal thing. I think it looks fantastic. Like, I'll pop up an example here of me doing that minimal vibe. Like, literally, I love it. But I just really go the extra mile to find the guys and girls. I love minimal, but I want their little extra touch. I want them to wear, like, nothing eccentric, but I want to be able to see their true style and not just a carbon copy of minimal on Pinterest or Instagram. So, um, not putting it down, because you can get some great inspo for minimal looks and then add your, add your little thing, but just a personal preference. Um, and I just thought, yeah, I forgot what I was saying, but cash, cost per wear and how much I've actually, how much I wear this. And this is such a go-to to me, for me. If I'm having a meeting or I'm going somewhere where I really want to feel nice and walk in the room and feel nice, whether I've got trainers and a cap on or dress it up with like leather pants, it makes me feel really good. Um, and I made the mistake last time of not picking something classic and boring and going with something else. And I ended up buying the classic and boring thing anyway and wore it to death. I'm still wearing it. So I took the plunge for another one. And the moral of this 10 minute story is that yes, these are expensive. Yes, they are overpriced and you are paying for the name. But at the end of the day, the brand Kate has created a cardigan that fits perfection. It's so heavy, don't worry, I don't have my, have my hang up my knitwear, it goes in my knitwear cupboard, but it's just for you to see. Um, amazing buttons, amazing silhouette, amazing thick cashmere. It just fits like a dream. And I know a couple of girls that have bought like two dupes and they've ended up spending £600. Yes, it's still half the amount, but they're still longing for this. And I know that you know who you are because you're probably watching. So yeah, I got that. I wear a size medium. Or if I forget to tell you the sizes or the brands, it will always be linked below. Um, but I now have two and I will be getting the black one. Like it's official. It may be on its way here right now. Just because I love them. Now the next piece that I'm going to show you is this beautiful dress by Alessandra Rich. I'm a big fan of Alessandra Rich. I think that she tapped into a market that that wasn't around, which is why she's done so well. Let me show you another dress that I've got that I love so much. I got this dress when I shot with Rolls Royce. That's still in stock, and I think that they also have a new one, which is longer arms. I put up a picture or something of me wearing it. Um, now, let's just be real when it comes to Alexandra Rich. I was walking past, this is to give you, like, the, the picture. I was walking past a charity shop, and I saw in the window... A beautiful dress that looked like a copy of Alessandra Rich, the famous one that Kate Middleton wore. And I was busy with Honoré and I was going to go back and get it and it went. And then I was like, Clay, you idiot. Like, Alessandra Rich is getting her inspo. And we all get inspo from places. The world has been going on for too long for something to not be an inspiration from something. And I have no problem with that. And I actually think Alessandra Rich does it really, really well. She adds her signature her signature style. Um, I'm not putting that down at all. It's just, you know, you could go into a charity shop. Here's the thing. You can go into a charity shop or on a pre-loved site. And you can find this silhouette. And maybe put your own buttons on. But, I, but if you just want the real thing. And you want the fit to perfection with that modern twist. Alessandra Rich just, just does it. And I do love the brand. Um, so I picked up this dress, long sleeve tweed, very Chanel, but actually probably nicer than Chanel because the buttons are so like clean and crisp and it's such a beautiful silhouette and I have a picture and you might think, oh Claire, you don't even look that slim, but I haven't done zero, I've done zero exercise after my baby 
and I and I have no waist I'm like a rectangle and it actually did cinch me in a little bit without being uncomfortable so that's obviously just the positioning of the buttons the length it was very flattering on me and it felt really lovely to wear I actually used this when I shot a beautiful jewelry Masoma it's on my Instagram so go ahead and check that out um, I really loved wearing it and I'm quite funny when it comes to dresses because I feel that you can wear them once and then not again so I'm very particular that if I do invest into a dress it's something that I wear all the time and I just feel like living in London I will wear this so, so much and I'll wear it time after time it's great for a dinner date because it's very chic and sexy it's like quite low and cinched in um, it's great for a meeting because it's long and covered up on the arms um, it's great it's, it's it's across the board does it for me day professional event so that's why I love it and it's very classic and it's black um, so they're those two dresses um, I bought this the other day and funnily enough I wore it to the rodeo event so I'd seen this in red and I love it in red it, it looks so 90s to me very Claudia Schiffery would look so beautiful with a Chanel bag, like a vintage Chanel bag. And I just took the plunge. I was just shopping one Sunday night and it's very hard to get hold of this jacket, by the way. There was literally one left on Net-a-Porter, so I just bought it straight away. And I was pleasantly surprised when it came. It's very oversized. You can definitely wear it as a coat. I actually saw a woman, like late 50s, early 50s maybe, look great. She had jeans, a scarf and this on. And she just looks so chic and it was like crisp autumn day, a bit cold but not too cold. And I'd already got it at this point and you know when you see someone wearing something that you love and you've just bought it and it just makes you feel even more excited about it. It's so thick, like a thick heavy wool. So it's a beautiful blazer for the winter but actually I would say it's quite very much a coat. So if I wore this and the cake cashmere underneath with a scarf I would be so so warm. So And I don't really have anything like that and that's this thick. And it, this reminds me of like a horse bit, like very a question. Um, I love this detail and I was worried about this because like I told you, I'm a rectangle. So cinching in on the waist, it's not a good look for me. Like these girls that wear like knitwear dresses, coats, blazers and put a belt around. I love it. it. If you can get away with that, it's so amazing. Like a knitwear dress with a big belt or whatever belt. I love a belt, but I'm, I don't really do it because I'm, I'm very square. So this is an amazing piece where I can finally like have something that focuses on the waist um, and it was very flattering so this just works for me. Um, really really do love it. The buttons are working and you see the piping, it's the exact match to my new Kelly 25. Like so it was, it's a dream, I was very pleased that I took the plunge of that. Now the last piece, you're going to think I'm crazy because I already have 55 of these. I've had a request on my YouTube and Instagram to do a coat, um, a coat collection and I think it's such a good idea for someone like me who loves coats so much. I can't believe that I haven't done one and I think I know the reason why because I'm scared to know how many I have. I have actually a whole wardrobe on another floor with all of my coats and it's busting at the seam that I've had to take one wardrobe here. I just love coats and jackets. It's impossible to do coats and jackets in the same haul because there will literally be a hundred. Um, let me know. Would you like me to split it into coats and bla like blazers? Like, what would you want me to see? I'm overwhelmed thinking about it. Um, but it's kind of like my thing. Now, hear me out. I know this looks like two I already have. I know this. So I have my Sandro one, which I love. Um, I don't want this to come across the wrong way, but I saw that in Paris in the window, fell in love with it. I actually didn't know it was Sandro, I just saw it in there. I actually thought it was like vintage or um, like some random brand because it actually didn't look Sandro to me. And I bought it, didn't even think about it, walked straight back out. Um, obviously it's in Paris, so they had it a little bit before we had it here. And it's kind of gone a bit viral, which like, I'm happy about. And I've seen some lovely girls wear it and like, again, made me excited that I have it. But I just wish it didn't go so viral. But it is a great jacket, so I'll link it below. So I have one that already looks like this. And I adore it. I love it so much. Love it, love it, love it. And there was no need for me to have this one. But, um, so I ignored it when I saw it. 
and then I just kept looking back at it and looking back at it and looking back at it to the point where I was like just get it and the thing that I've told myself is that it's very different to the one that I have mine has like leather that goes all the way here and it's a biker style whereas this is very long with the pockets here it's a different shape I'm trying to convince myself it's a different shape um, but the thing is is that I wear these shilling jackets all year round I always have done my mum and aunt used to always wear shilling coats I've just got a soft spot for them I have my other one for two years now and I will still wear it because this is more of like an oversized long one so I just love it so much and I just thought it's so different and when I love it so much um, why not I'm actually going to wear this today um, so that's all I have to show you with that Makeup's still going strong. It's actually been like a couple of hours since I last saw you. We're just going to go out and like shoot something with this, like go for lunch. I'm going to do that now. Um, and then we'll sh see the Christmas bits and then that will be the end of this vlog. I know my vlog's always really long. Got lots coming up. I've got some luxury hauls. I'm going to do the coat haul. I'm also doing a, a styling haul where I show you all the old bits in my wardrobe so that it's not constantly new things all the time. So stay tuned for that. So, um... Let's get cracking. sea contigo, aunque tú me veas solo como amigo. Yeah, no solo quiero para eso. Yeah, no solamente para el sexo. Yeah, lo que sea contigo, aunque tú me veas solo como amigo. Yeah, estoy loco de tus besos. Yeah. I'm just getting dressed. Totally forgot to tell you that I also bought some black leggings. Oh, <laughs> where's it gone? black leggings that were underneath this these these are my third pair I've bought every single one myself um, never gifted but that shouldn't matter I accidentally put these ones in the wash and didn't put the black comfort in so they're a bit like and I've worn them to death but these are the totem leggings they're for the price point they are the most reasonably priced leggings that I found they suck you in they are my absolute go-to they have a little split at the end they're just amazing, amazing leggings. I wear them going out. I actually wore them to the rodeo event with the blazer. They're good enough to wear out, but then they're also great just for every day. Like I could wear it with this. If you want a pair of good leggings, a thick, suck you in, comfortable, good day tonight. Literally, I wear them to the park and then I wear them to an event in the evening. The most insane leggings and they are so hard to find. I'm also going to link another pair, which are around £10 cheaper, maybe £20 cheaper, that are insane completely different legging um we all need a good pair of leggings so that's another piece that i literally three pairs um right let's get going just wanted to show you them because really important